Hey, welcome back. Time for another video on the skull. Today we're doing the temporal bone. The bone that marks the passage of time, uh, sort of. The temporal bone, we see it right here. All right, there it is. The temporal bone. Temporal bone has a lot of neat stuff going on. Okay, it's going to articulate with the parietal bone up top, articulate the occipital bone back here. It's going to articulate with your sphenoid bone right here and with your zygomatic bone right there. Okay, so the temporal bone has a hole in it. There it is, that hole right there. That hole is the external auditory or acoustic meatus. Meatus is a word you can think of as meaning passageway or tube. Okay, this is your ear canal. Sound waves are going to go through here. It's a good landmark. It's a good place to start because near it, we are going to have a big bulge. This is the mastoid process. Ask your teacher why it's called the mastoid process. It is an interesting story. It's a mastoid process right there. You can feel your own mastoid process kind of just behind your ear. Your sternocleidomastoid, the muscle that turns you that way, pulls on your mastoid process. So we got our mastoid process, which was right there. We also have our styloid process, which looks like a pen, like a stylus. It's going to anchor a lot of your tongue muscles. Extending anteriorly, we've got our zygomatic process. And this is where it gets fun. The zygomatic process of the temporal bone is going to articulate with the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. I told you that would be fun. I wasn't lying. This part right here is kind of flattish. So this flattish part is known as the squamous part of the temporal bone. And then remember the suture where we meet the parietal bone is called the squamous suture. Okay, a couple other things going on with our temporal bone. If I rotate a little bit, and I, again, I'm, I'm nearby to that, um, and you can't even see it because I'm holding it too low. And I got to grab my mandible here. Let's put the mandible back on. Da -da -da, if we can do it. So I'm putting my mandible back on right there. How should I rotate? So there, that's perfect. There's the mandible right there. You can see the mandible, the condyle of the mandible right there, is articulating into that little depression, that little depression right there. That depression, which is very near that, that acoustic meatus, that depression right there for the mandibular condyle is called the mandibular fossa. So we have a mandibular fossa right there. Remember, a fossa is a depression. Okay, more stuff that we can see on this guy if we separate him and I open him up. All right, so there's my foramen magnum, which means I got my occipital bone around here. This is all temporal bone right here. All temporal bone. There's a sphenoid bone right there. All temporal bone. And there's this rocky ridge right here. This rocky ridge here. Somebody thought it looked like a rocky ridge, so they called it the petrous part, petrous portion of the temporal bone. Inside here, this is where you, all, you have all your, your machinery for hearing. This is where you have your little ear bones, your auditory ossicles, your incus, your malleus, and your stapes. We'll revisit them again later. All right, I'm going to put this guy down. I'm going to pick up a random, not a random, just an individual temporal bone. That's a right temporal bone. And we can see the flat part of it. That's the squamous part right there. Here's the rocky ridge. The rocky ridge of it right there is the petrous part. There's the external acoustic meatus. We see the styloid process. We see the mastoid process. Mastoid, styloid. And I can see the zygomatic process coming out like that. I can see where the mandibular condyle would fit in that mandibular fossa right there. Looking at all my notes here, and I think we got just about everything on there. All right, so another bone done. That was a slightly longer video because there's more stuff. We'll be back, and I'll see you later.